right, so what I'm going to be making is a gynostemma, wild honey chrysanthemum, and wild sun-dried rosebud elixir tea. And I've been enjoying this quite a lot over the last few months. And uh, these chrysanthemums and these rosebuds have really been quite delicious and also having nice healing qualities, let's say that. Uh, because I spend a lot of time on the computer, I spend a lot of time working, doing kind of mental activity, as well as a lot of time training, doing martial arts. Uh, having something like chrysanthemum and rosebud is really nice because they're very cooling and uh, very calming and soothing. So it's good to help me just kind of like chill out and get a bit more uh, out of my head and back into my body. And then especially combined with the gynostemma, really helps with the adaptogenic uh, balancing qualities. Uh, chrysanthemum really is nourishing for the liver and helps to keep the liver from being stagnant while also uh, supporting digestion and, like I said, uh, clearing heat. The rosebuds are very, very calming, very soothing, and also just super tasty, super floral. And you can see these guys here, and uh, they're super beautiful, and once they uh, steep in hot water, they really come back to life and rehydrate quite nicely. So what I'm gonna do now is add some hot water that's about, I think I've brewed to about 195, 200 degrees, something like that. And uh, I'm gonna let that steep for probably about five minutes. Uh, though you can let it go longer if you want, but you can see it's already starting to come to life and the gynostem is opening up and the, the chrysanthemums are starting to open up as well. Uh, the rosebuds will take a little bit longer to open, but I used about a teaspoon of gynostemma, which is a good dosage. Um, and I used just a pinch of the chrysanthemums and I think maybe four or five rosebuds. But the rosebuds a little bit goes a long way. You can usually use three to five and that's enough. Um, and then each of these herbs you can brew gung fu style, so in a gaiwan or a teapot. And you can use more or less depending on your taste, but usually you can get uh, a lot of brews out of, out of each of these herbs. Uh, as much as they are herbal, they're also very much like a really good tea in that you can just re keep rebrewing and re-steeping them. And they're so reasonably priced while providing such a ridiculous amount of benefits while being delicious that it's really exciting to be able to share these and to be able to share these at such a high quality with you guys uh, and share them on Hyperion Herbs. Uh, so if you go right now, I think I just put up the, web the page for the Rosebuds earlier today and then the chrysanthemums also just came back in stock because I had the first batch that I had sold out in a few days and was, was pretty surprised at the response but also not because of what I've just said and why it's really it's just they're just such good herbs and they're so gentle and balancing and nourishing uh, but also delicious and cheap that it's kind of hard to really say no. Uh, and gynostemma again is just really one of the best adaptogens, one of the most balancing and balanced herbs that we can take. And we have to keep in mind that each of these things are herbs, but they're also kind of food, things that we can take regularly over the long term, which are just going to be helping to balance and uh, help the body organ systems communicate more efficiently. And the finished product, and as you can see, it's a nice orange golden color from the chrysanthemum as well as the rosebuds. And uh, just want to also mention that after you get some of these rosebuds and chrysanthemums, if you're brewing any other kinds of teas, whether those are oolongs or puars, you can easily add a pinch or a few of these flowers to some of your later brews if you're brewing gong fu style. Or sometimes if you just want to take the edge off of a tea, maybe you have a puar that's a little bit uh, aggressive or a little bit unbalanced or a little bit, you know, kind of shaky because it's young or maybe it's just not that good of tea or something, uh, you could easily just add these in there to kind of balance out the energetics and help it be a bit more mild. Also, if you've had a lot of tea or coffee or maybe you're just overworked or feeling stressed and kind of jittery, a nice hot cup of this combination can oftentimes be really grounding and really help us to chill out and relax. Just because the rosebud and the chrysanthemum help uh, break up stagnation, make sure blood and chi uh, is moving in the body, especially from the liver and the heart, which can definitely get a little bit wonky if we're feeling stressed or overworked or worried or anxious. 
Other things you could, if you're going to do a bath, you could also add these to a hot bath. If you wanted to, you could also add gynostemma. I've done that plenty of times before. Sometimes I'll make a tea out of it on the stove, make it strong, and then put it in a bath, or just add a pinch of these to a bath, and it adds a kind of a nice effect if that's something that you're into. Either way, these are all super versatile as well as being delicious and incredibly balancing and adaptogenic in the body. And uh, definitely have been digging this combination for the last few months and happy and excited to be able to share them with you now. So if you want to get some rosebuds, you want to get some chrysanthemum or gynostemma, either one or all three, just go to hyperionherbs.com and get some. Anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon.